Uh, it's gonna be a much shorter episode this week. Uh, I injured my neck uh, last Monday, so I wasn't really able to practice or anything. I really wanted to give that some time to heal before I injured it anymore. So the biggest thing I've been working on this week is just kind of working through the lessons uh, with George's, uh, working through the lessons with George's membership site. Uh, I've been going through, I've done setup, backswing, um, and a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, just now getting to the downswing this morning. So hopefully that'll translate. Uh, you know, this week I'm gonna get back in front of the mirror uh, the other thing that's been really hard, like I keep saying these past few weeks, is that uh, with it being, it does get dark very early. By the time I get home from work, uh, it's already dark outside. So I'm going to try and cut down uh, for my goals for the week on things that have to do with outside. Um, you know, I want to get out and play every Saturday and I don't really have time to practice. So until the weather gets better, I'm really not going to be able to practice all that much um, you know because I'd rather spend the time playing that might not be the best idea but um, this is what works for me right now and as things come and go I'll make changes um, yes yeah, so that means every Saturday or Sunday I'm gonna try and get out and play at least 18 holes maybe nine or maybe not at all depending on the weather so I think that'll be good just kind of getting myself familiar with the course and playing um, you know, to kind of help me achieve my goal. And then when the summer does come, you know, I'll be able to practice more during the week and play on the weekends. Uh, I do have a par three course that's, you know, 10 minutes from my house. They, they have a great chipping and putting green, uh, as well as, you know, par three course will really work on my wedges out there as well, kind of get in that scoring zone. So, I think that's, you know, once the weather changes or once the time changes uh, in March, I think it is, I'll be able to get out and practice a lot more. Um, one of the other things that I'm working on last, I played yesterday, um, or on, I played on Sunday, uh, and one of the biggest things was I was getting frustrated. I couldn't hit the ball. I was playing by myself, so there wasn't anybody there to check me in. Um, you know, I fell apart mentally. I, I won't sugarcoat it. Uh, it was a tough, a tough round for me. Um, so I stopped keeping score on the, the second nine. You'll see the front nine next week. Um, I stopped keeping score and I just hit a few balls from different areas and I had a lot more fun working on things and stuff like that. And so, <clears throat> you know, I've talked about the mental game and I've just kind of said that is that that's what I want to be one of my strengths, but I'm going to, and how, like, I kind of came to the realization of how I'm going to utilize that. Um, what I plan on doing is, is in, in my mental game is instead of trying to focus on hitting the perfect shot every single time, I'm going to judge myself on how well, how well I prepare for each shot in each round and hold my stick, hold my pride and that kind of stuff on something that I can actually control as opposed to holding my pride on what did I score that day and I think over time as I shift to that you know um, and that goes along with like how well I prepared how well did I play with people how you know did I make a new friend little things like that that go into the round that are you know part of the much bigger picture here and this might be getting a little too sentimental but it's something that I want to focus on and I think that I will enjoy golf more instead of going out you know grinding during the week like thinking about playing thinking about playing and then trying to post a good score when I only swing one time a week so if I focus on really you know the atmosphere and things that I can control I think that I'll have a better mindset going into each round and it won't be one of those things where I start off doing really well and then it falls apart and I get upset. You know, I'll be hanging my hat on, you know, how well did I prepare for each shot? Did I mentally go through everything that needed to go through? You know, am I having a good time in my playing partner? Am I enjoying the, the weather out there? And yeah, you know, this might sound a little, um, 
you know, out there and not really about what it is, uh, you know, about what golf is, is posting a good score. But I think if I hold on to those things and not so much the score that I need or what I want, I think the other things will fall in line. So those are just a few things that I've been working on this week. Again, a short vlog, um, you know, no, no playing this time, but I got a surprise, well, no surprise next week, but it will be another nine holes next week. And, um, so yeah, stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like these vlogs, make sure you, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. So thank y'all.